Uh, okay, uh, yeah, it was a good start for us. Obviously, a, a very good win uh, against Atlanta. We don't know if they're going to be a real good team or not. Uh, so we keep it in perspective, and, and then we start preparing for San Antonio th this coming week. Uh, San Antonio could be one of the best teams in the alliance. We don't know yet, uh, but they won their practice game and won their first game also. So this will be a huge game for us. But some guys that don't get a lot of publicity that I think deserve it, certainly our defensive guys, especially our defensive linemen. Uh, Josh Banks, Leon Orr, and Anthony Moten. Oh, man, they were super inside there, played well. And, of course, Terrence Garvin, our linebacker, had two interceptions, one for about a 55-yard touchdown, 11 tackles. Uh, he's got to be the Alliance Defensive Player of the Week if, if we have something like that. So uh, offensively, the guys played well. Uh, we had a few mess-ups here and there that we can certainly hope to improve on. And, uh, in fact, the whole team, we hope to play better each week as we go through the season. But, again, good start. The fans were super. I think they had a big time. And uh, I think the threat of the rain dampened the crowd a little bit. Uh, but it still was a very good crowd that uh, hopefully enjoyed the game. Could you tell that the crowd was into it and, and mm -hmm. formed a quick allegiance to the Apollos? Yeah, I think so. And uh, we appreciate all the coverage we're getting here in Orlando, the newspapers, the TV stations, and everyone. And uh, we are Orlando's team. We're Central Florida's uh, pro football team. And uh, we're going to try to represent uh, this city and this area the very best we can. And uh, we hope to improve each week as the season goes. That's what uh, championship teams do. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to try to put on a strong performance out in San Antonio uh, this Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock. Coach, what sort of feedback have you mm -hmm. gotten from you know, other mm -hmm. people in the profession maybe or mm -hmm. former players? In, in oh, just some phone calls from friends is about all I've uh, looked at. Uh, I did see the write-ups in the local paper were very nice, TV coverage excellent, and so forth. But, uh, yeah, just friends calling, good start, this, that, and the other. Uh, they've, they've seen a lot of our ball plays. I guess uh, the Orlando special one was people thought was interesting, but we've been throwing those ball plays a long time. And uh, But the guys really executed it well. Garrett handed it off, and uh, our running back sprinted out there and flipped it to Jalen Marshall and uh, executed it, uh, well, perfection. And in fact, it was interesting because Connor Shaw at South Carolina, we ran almost the same play uh, against Wisconsin in the Capital One Bowl back in uh, January 1st of 2014, uh, which ended up being a big touchdown also. Uh, so Orlando, it, we call it the Orlando Special, but I don't think we can run it again because everybody's got it on video now and they're going to be watching for the quarterback every time we hand off a sweep. Do you intend to run that in game one? Just yeah. yeah. Yeah, we worked on it. It took about the fifth time we ran it in practice before the guys, all right, now, because all 11 have to carry it out. Yeah. If the wide receiver doesn't sprint across, his guy just looks around and may stay over there. So our split end ran across like he was catching it on the other side. The running back sprinted out, and Garrett, after he hands off, he's got to act like a little bit that he's keeping the ball and then he relaxes, and then he sort of takes off. So uh, all 11 guys uh, executed it just the way he draw it up. So this was in, mm. in your playbook way before the Eagles ran it then in, in the Super Bowl. Well, they ran a different version. They sort of had a wildcat guy, and their quarterback shifted up and just sort of act like he was blocking a minute and, and sort of snuck out to the side. So it's a little different than what they ran. How do you think your offensive mm. line came together for that? The old line played pretty well. <clears throat> we uh, put some backups in toward the end of the game that weren't quite as sturdy as our first group, but uh, overall, uh, the old line had had a good uh, had a good game. It really did, and uh, we, we got good players. That we got to just keep keep improving game to game. Coach, you mentioned after the game the other night, two point conversions mm -hmm. have to improve a little bit. Yeah. What, what uh, have you seen? What is it that you think the teammates can work on to improve that? Well, we got to have a better plan on uh, uh, the way we tried to execute two of them. Uh, one time we had just one yard line. We got stuffed up front. Uh, one of our linemen got blown up backwards, and we didn't couldn't run it in from one yard. Uh, but other than that, uh, we we hit we hit our first two, and uh, and then we missed our next three. So yeah, we we got to coach better and get those uh, better prepared uh, this coming game. 
Have you seen that kind of performances in practice from Terrence Garvin? I mean, did you know mm -hmm. that he was capable of doing what he did? Yeah, we knew Terrence was a very good player. In fact, uh, <clears throat> he and Garrett Gilbert were the captains for the game, uh, along with a, a couple of our linemen uh, and so forth. So, uh, yeah, he's one of the leaders, too. So it's, it's nice to have one of your best players, uh, a captain, a leader, to have games like that, and that helps inspire all the other players. Coach, how hard is that, that I know you coach offense, but that, that, mm -hmm. they call that defensive alignment penalty. Mm -hmm. How hard is it to, mm -hmm. to, to be legal? <clears throat> well, we know the rules, and all the coaches do, and the players uh, on the teams have to make sure that they do it correctly. And just to let the fans know, uh, you can rush five guys, uh, and I did not make these rules up. I want you to know that first of all. If it's up to me, we just play football. But I understand they want to just rush five so the balls get off, quarterbacks don't get hit as badly and so forth. Uh, but the rush guys have to be within two yards outside the offensive line. If there's a tight end there, two yards outside of him, a tackle, two yards outside of him. And then any five can rush. So sometimes they're sneaking around, they're coming from four or five yards off. And that's just against the rules. And that's why they call these penalties. Why would you want, why do you, why would you rather play football? It seems like mm -hmm. it would benefit the offense, obviously. Well, I just, that's just me. Uh, that's part of football is uh, pass protection, keeping guys in and, and so forth. Uh, but I can understand the Lions feeling that this will help scoring. Uh, I don't know if it does or not, because you still got to block those defensive ends. And, uh, you, you got to pass block, run block, and all kind of things. Uh, but I, I can see the value of only rushing five, and uh, the balls will get out better maybe, and, and we'll have a more exciting game. A lot of the fans and people on social media were sort of raving that the game was moving mm -hmm. two and a half hours. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I think fans like two and a half hours. I think that's most sporting events uh, are, are supposed to be like that. I, I know I went to Florida, Kentucky basketball game what, 10 days ago? And they played two hours and five minutes, I think. And I said, man, go to the game at 4 o'clock, and everybody was going after dinner <laughs> at five, 6 o'clock and 6.30 and things like that. Uh, but, yeah, two and a half hours, I think, is what people want to see. And the, the shorter play clock, I know you've talked mm -hmm. about it before going mm -hmm. into this game, how you liked it. Mm -hmm. how, how does that benefit your offense um, that, that seems to operate very quickly? Uh, we weren't as quick as uh, some are, uh, and, and we need to work on that, to tell you the truth. But we're, we're not a rapid-fire team right now. Uh, at times, we probably need to be a little bit better. I think we got one or two of those penalties. We got a little sloppy in the second half there. Uh, but the play caller, he just has to get them in, get them in quickly and uh, get up there, start talking, and go. Uh, so I think uh, all the teams uh, sort of feeling our way around with the new rules, uh, but I like that 35-second clock. It, it makes sense. Have you had a chance to see any of the film from San Antonio yet? Yes, we've watched uh, the video. They've got ours. We've got theirs. Uh, they're, they're very strong on defense. Uh, Mike Martz's San Diego team got six points on them. So, uh, We'll be challenged uh, offensively to score some points. Uh, defensively, uh, uh, they well, they didn't score a lot themselves. They got 15, uh, whatever that means, I don't know. Uh, anything can happen in the course of the game, but uh, one thing uh, you always want to do is, is take your defense on the road, as they say. So I think we have a very good defense here at Orlando, and uh, we, we're going to take them on the road, and we need to, we need to play well out there. Do you see yourself as more of a defensive team or an offensive team? Hopefully both. Hopefully both. Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, we did score three touchdowns in the game, got a defensive score, which uh, ran it up a little bit. Uh, but hopefully uh, hopefully we will be a combination of very good offense and defense. Our field goal kicker, Elliot Fry, was two for two. Uh, our punter did okay. So special teams, uh, uh, unfortunately, we dropped a punt. And uh, Bracey actually cracked his forearm on that play. So uh, that was the one injury uh, from the game. Is he out? He'll be out four to five weeks. And uh, we're bringing back a punt returner, Willie uh, Quinn. Uh, Willie uh, was a Canadian League punt return guy who was very good up there. Uh, he had sort of hurt his wrist in training camp, and we weren't able to keep him. Uh, but now we, we're bringing him back.
uh, like we, we tell our players, you know, stay ready. Uh, those that didn't make the team, uh, you'll be the first guys we call back. Uh, Ryan Green, we had to let him go for whatever reason, and now he's back with the team also. So, uh, Health-wise, everybody else mm -hmm. came out okay? Yeah. I was talking to the coaches this morning. This morning, I said, we get guys hurt in practice more than we do games, and that shouldn't happen. It's mostly defensive guys. So uh, we, need to, we need to not have injuries near practice. San Antonio got a healthy crowd uh, mm -hmm. for their debut, over 25. Um, mm -hmm. it, you know, just just the weekend mm -hmm. as a whole, the debut for the Alliance mm -hmm. of a, as a whole, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts? Well, some teams obviously didn't do very well tennis-wise, and some did, San Antonio and, and us. Uh, of course, they don't have to worry about the weather out there. We play in the Alamo Dome, and uh, I, we expect a big crowd out there uh, Sunday afternoon. Two 1-0 and teams going at it. So uh, it, it should be a heck of a ball game. It really should. And their crowd, they don't have pro football, so they're a lot like Orlando. This is our pro football team. Let's get behind it and see what we can do. So uh, this it's a big game for us. Do you celebrate your first <clears throat> win with the Apollos at all? Celebrate a little bit. Oh, yeah, you always celebrate a little bit. And then, uh, and then you get ready for the next opponent. So we've had a night and a little bit of a day yesterday to rest up. And, soak in a little bit, but uh, our players, uh, this is their day off. Uh, and then Sunday, we actually came, came in and watched the tape of the game, and, and the players have a little workout, weight lifting and so forth, a little bit of running, uh, and, and then uh, they're off today. So they may be out of Disney World. I don't know where they're going, but uh, they got the day off today. How'd you celebrate? Just celebrate? Yeah. Oh, just came back to the hotel. <laughs> uh, David Reeves and Scotty, they're, they're up on the same floor we are, some of the defensive coaches. Uh, but, but gosh, it was late, so we didn't, we didn't celebrate too long. How pleased was Jerry with the, with the performance? Oh, Jerry's happy always with wins and uh, not very happy with losses, like all of us. Uh, yeah, and, and it was neat. Uh, gosh, most of all of us, coaches and uh, so many people, players, uh, we had our families at the game. And, uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's sort of a relief that you didn't lose the dang thing. I just think how miserable we would all been if it had gone bad for us. So, uh, yeah, everybody's happy, uh, and now we got to do it again. Uh, got to go do it again. So you have small celebrations and put it behind you and try to have another small celebration the next week. Coach, real quick, your receivers, can you talk about them mm -hmm. a little bit? And the, mm -hmm. the, that play mm -hmm. you were running, was that some drag? Some drag, drag play, <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah, it worked out pretty good. Uh, we put that one in. We, uh, we, we've had a little drag routes in our game plan. And uh, we finally got, well, it, it hit every, every time. I think we were five for five, but one time the tight end sort of picked the guy. He did. He sort of gave him a shoulder, uh, which you can't do. You just hope to get in their path and make them run around you. And, uh, but uh, we, we got one penalty on it. Uh, but, yeah, that was a good play for us. Uh, San Antonio, they'll be looking for it this week. What did you think of the hit on uh, Mike Berkovici? Uh, yeah, I thought that should have been a penalty. I thought the guy should have been thrown out of the game. That's my opinion on those things. And uh, if I have a different opinion than the Alliance, then we have a different opinion. But, uh, yeah, that, that, there's no place in football for a helmet underneath the guy's helmet. And, and in the NFL, he's out of the game. In college football, he's out of the game. And I hope that we would do that also. But I, from what I understand, nothing was done, correct? Uh, it was no, 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 that, I, I'm against that. I'll go on record saying I'm definitely against all that stuff. Uh, violence and that kind of hits should not be promoted in any kind of football. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping the referees just missed it. I don't know how they missed it, though, because I, I saw the replay myself. But, yeah, we'll see what, what comes of that. And the NFC officials in the championship. They missed one. They missed one. Well, they just missed interference, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Good seeing y'all. All right.